Two sides needing points for contrasting reasons meet at the Green Elephant Stadium this afternoon as relegation threatened Burgess Hill Town take on title chasing Dulwich Hamlet. The home side picked up a huge win less than 48 hours ago beating Wingate and Finchley here by three goals to one to jump above Tooting and Mitcham United and out of the relegation spot. Ian Chapman makes three changes including a first Hillian start for Josh Greenleaf. Dulwich had a night to forget in the London Senior Cup on Wednesday, crashing out to lower league Ballum. Starting the day three points behind Billericay Town, they make five changes from that defeat, including a league debut for goalkeeper Amadou Tangara. Can Dulwich make it a third consecutive win over the host as they continue their assault on the title? Dulwich have benefited from a few calls early on. Cargo wide here to Taylor. Abraham's on the outside, goes inside to Clunis, gets through one challenge, still Clunis, gets the early shot, good save, low save by Josh James, first save of the afternoon, certainly goal bound that and Hales is under pressure from his own mistake, out comes Amadou Sangara, well done the other end from the new Hamlet custodian, and the long range shot from Connor Teague is held by Tangara, chance of both sides within 20 seconds of each other there, James making a low save to keep out Clunis and then Hales Putting his side on a bit of pressure. Sanusi couldn't get there ahead of Tangara. League debut for Dulwich today, the goalkeeper. Did play a League Cup game back in October. Recently rejoined the club. It was a threat that Adai would be recalled. Nathan Ferguson will take this. Being in charge of set pieces since uh, Ashley Cruz has been out last month with injury. Was the near post and tapped home by Clunis. <laughs> Dulwich have their 100th goal of the season, and it's Nyron Clunis from all of a yard out who's provided it an air of inevitability about that goal. Dulwich have been on top right from the start, and from Nathan Ferguson's corner, it's the away side who take a lead. Come on in, away. Just almost hit him and went in, it seemed. Ferguson with a, a decent ball in. And Clunis just bombs it over the line. This is his uh, best ever season in terms of scoring for Dulwich. Come on, Craig, stay together. James looking for Sanusi. Interesting attempt to control. Volley forward by Cabman. The Weatherstone has a bit of time here. Oh, it's not a great touch from Mark Weatherstone. Greenleaf's denied by a great tackle by Hales. Weatherstone. Like Hales before him, almost putting us under real pressure. Abrahams puts out for a throw. Well, Dulwich, if they are going to concede, it seems it's going to be from their own mistakes. Weatherstone, with all the time in the world, tried to coolly nod that back to Tangara. Got it horribly wrong. And Greenleaf couldn't get the better of rookie Hales. There's two moments in the defence that they won't uh, want to repeat. They can't be doing that this end of the season. Clunis running at Richmond. Can't show him on the outside, surely, if you're uh, James Richmond. Clunis able to come onto his right foot momentarily. Beanie ignores Abrahams. Reverse ball for Clunis. Pulls it back. Lovely build up play. Oh, good save by James. Deserved a goal that move. Nathan Ferguson is denied by a smart save by Josh James. Nice reverse pass from Clunis into his path. James made himself big. Puts it over for the corner. It's a combination work for Billericay last month. Abraham's cross out and uh, Akinyemi head up. Almost uh, bearing fruit again. Cargbo. Long towards Clunas it comes. Richmond gets the first header in. Drops as far as Akinyemi. They just decide the area. The shot is straight at James. And he gets the loose ball before Ming can get to the rebound. Raising the chances, Dulwich. Ferguson's last corner didn't beat the uh, man at the front post. Jack Brivio. That one's a bit better and free header for Clunis. Poor defending. Not a great attempt by Clunis either. Given all that space, he should have at least hit the target from where he was. And nods it over the top. So another chance goes begging. Burgess Hill have avoided relegation each of the last two seasons on the very last day of the season, including, I think it was a 98th minute goal from Sam Fisk, which kept them up last season. Ian Chapman will be keen to avoid a repeat of that, going down to the wire. Be safe before the final day of the season. Akinyemi for Taylor! Oh, Quay Taylor 
not renowned for his goal scoring ability. Found himself in an advanced position there. Took it on early. James responds with another save. Fisk has the better of him. James, that could have gone anywhere, his clearance. Drops for Ferguson quite deep. Oh, bobbles in that penalty area. Sanchez Ming running at Cabman. Good ball in. Beanie's arriving. It's always Abrahams. Tanasha Abrahams saved by James again. Angles working with the goalkeeper there. Made himself big at his near post. Shot count really racking up though for Dulwich. Seems to be them against James at times in this first half. Ferguson drops for Brivio. Not for long. Akinyemi. Usually a determined kind of player. Does well there. Abrahams. Akinyemi wants a return pass. He is quick. Look at the turn of pace from him. They're comfortably ahead of uh, Sam Fisk. Floats it in. Beanie got a touch. Drops for Ferguson. Drops for Cargbo. James saves again. Seems to have a vendetta against every outfield Dulwich player in this first half. How many more opportunities will they pass up the Hamlet? Harding for Sanusi, the only change made by other side at the break. Well, just one up in this fixture last season, went on to win 3-0. They'll be hoping for repeats at least this afternoon. Here goes Akinyemi. Low centre. Cludis. Is there a shot for him? Spun into the air and into the arms of Josh James in the end. Took a deflection. Dulwich on the front foot straight from the restart. And again, chance that maybe she would have scored another day. Ferguson, it's not a great ball in this time. No height on that from Nathan Ferguson. Beanie. Weatherstone around the back. Onside! Volleys wide. Trying to guide it into the top corner. It's uh, time this run well. There's a couple of players offside in the penalty area. He wasn't one of them. And with James rooted to the spot, he's volleyed the wrong side of the post. Ferguson, last corner wasn't particularly good. Bit more height to that one. Weatherstone gets in, so does Taylor. Weatherstone trying to keep it alive. Puts it goalwards. Wide again from Weatherstone. Two chances in three minutes for the Dulwich defender. Trying to guide this one towards the far corner, just curls it beyond the far post though. Good work from Brivio, Greenleaf on, chance fatigue, 1-1. Yeah. One, one. They've created very little today, Dulwich have had all the chances, but Connor Teague has punished them. A fine effort. From the on-loan, Whitehawk man. Tangara's had very little to do. Dulwich wasted countless opportunities and not for the first time. It's come back to haunt them. Nice one around the corner from Josh Greenleaf. And Teague finishes with a plum beyond Tangara and it's 1-1. Beanie. Akinyemi. Driving on, shot is saved by James, too hot for him to hold, but a strong hand by the goalkeeper. Weatherstone has bobbled. Pat Harding has time to knock this down. Brivio, two bites at that. Taylor puts up under pressure, here goes Brivio, three up in this attack. Here's Teague, big moment in the game, that's Teague, good save. Really good stop by Tangara. It was on his side. Mistake by Taylor and Dulwich nearly paid the ultimate price. How crucial will that moment be in this game? Dulwich looking for a get out of jail card here. Here's Smith Joseph, Burgess Hill on the attack. Now the chance to win it, he's away from Weatherstone, goes through, out comes Tangara, good brave goalkeeping, determined run that from Aaron Smith-Joseph, got away from Cargbo and from Weatherstone, Gavin Tomlin, Weatherstone to Carew this time, Dulwich need a hero, Nathan Ferguson, oh it's just wide, went for the volley, James watched it go wide though, Jesus. 
Sangara Ferguson slips uh, an inopportune moment. Can they force one last set piece, perhaps? One last chance. Demarca on. Here goes Tomlin trying again. Clunis might. Demarca off target. And that was probably their last chance of this one. As you imagine, they're playing it short. And there's the full-time whistle. It's a hugely frustrating and disappointing afternoon for Dulwich Hamlet. Created their own downfall, really. We uh, were 1-0 up for a large part of this game. Nairon Clunis bundling home a 15th minute corner. Well, they wasted countless amount of chances. Josh James with some good saves along the way, keeping out Clunis and Nathan Ferguson in the first half in particular. But uh, Dulwich's lack of proficiency in front of goal came back to haunt them as it has done time and time again over the last few seasons as Connor Teague in the 58th minute produced a uh, stunning equaliser, bouncing ball, finishing into the far corner beyond Amadou Tangara. Dulwich after that didn't really muster many chances, if any, to uh, win the game, despite them bringing on Tomlin, Dumarka and Carew. Well, you're now five points behind Billericay Town in the hunt for the title. Final score at the Green Elephant Stadium is Burgess Hill Town 1, Dulwich Hamlet 1. Been a slightly fortuitous point at times today, but a massive point in your season, isn't it? Yeah, it's a massive point. Uh, you know, I think I think Dulwich is a brilliant football club. I think um, you've got real good people running it, you know, the management side, what have you. And, uh, you know, for us to be in the game, my goal is actually an absolute worldy. Um, he's pulled out four or five unbelievable saves. Um, you'll probably be a bit critical on your players, as in you probably should take your chances, but I'm looking at him, he's pulled out great saves. And then we grew in belief second half, and I thought it was more of an even game. You're still better than us, but I thought it was more of an even game, and we're delighted to get a point. I think uh, me and you have spoken enough this season to know that um, they sound like a tape recorder. Um, the players have just put their hands up. They know that they should have uh, put the game to bed. Um, we play some nice football as well. Um, but we didn't take our chances um, and it's something that is probably our Achilles heel if we are to go on and be successful and get the club promoted it will be because the players uh, take that responsibility and take their chances because uh, some of the approach play um, for this level of football is very good. Depends in that second half, particularly Sam Fisk put in a really moment, yeah. monumental performance. Yeah, Fisky is second, and James Richmond, the two centre halves, you know, won loads of headers and, and battled. And, uh, you know, against sides like Dulwich, you have to do that because, you, you know, you move the ball quickly and you move it, you know, properly. Um, and I just thought right from the front, we defended from the, from the front and, and had, a, had a real go. And obviously for us, it's a massive bonus point because, you know, if we're honest, today was a day we knew it'd be really hard to get something. So to get a point, we especially after the first what, half one, because we could have been four down at half time. So to come in at 1 0, it's probably give us a little bit of a lift. Um, and second half, we've had more of a go. And, and I say, even though you deserve to win, Dulles deserve to win, we've, we've had a go and, and, and had a little bit of luck today, which we've been at times this season. Were you hoping for some sort of reaction after Wednesday? A lot of them played on Wednesday night. Did you feel you got that reaction today? Yeah, apart from goals. Apart from goals, I thought we played some nice football. Um, Naren scored a, not a typical goal for us, but a good goal. Um, and then we should we should have gone and scored more goals. Um, first half, second half even. Um, but we did say, if we don't start taking opportunities, they will have at least one opportunity, and they took it. So... Um, it's difficult always to come here, but today was a day that I thought we would really should have uh, took the points. You're down the bottom, you need a bit of luck. You need uh, some players with real quality, and Connor Teague certainly added that over the last two or three months, hasn't he? Yeah, Connor's. You know, I think if, if there's tight games, Connor's uh, the sort of player who can who can win you a game. As you see today, like you know, his goals out of nothing. You know, balls dropped, he's hit from 20 yard, 20 odd yards, bottom corner. Uh, he brings that to his game, you know, and it, it, it always gives you a, a bit of belief when you've got a player who can do that, you know. And I, since he's been here. The, the more games he plays, the harder he seems to be working for the team as well, which is great, you know, and he's got quite a few goals for us. And, and I say, we ain't safe by no means, but, you know, this is a big point in helping us, you know, in, in what our, our aim is to stay in the league. As you get into a stage now with seven games to go, you can't really afford any more slip-ups. You have to look at winning all seven? No, no, not really, no. I think there'll be more slip-ups. Um, you know, we're playing teams who are in and around it. They're playing for, for points. Bill at Burgess Hill is to stay in the league. Um, so no, I don't think we need to win seven in a row. There's a three-point deficit with good goal difference to Billericay. Um, <clears throat> but you know, we're, we're probably going to miss drop points and they're probably going to drop points because the league isn't an easy league. So it just depends on what we do, you know. 48 hours, four points, not been a bad week. How important is it you use this uh, last two days to build on the last five games of the season? Yeah, no, we've got two massive games this week now. You know, and we, we've got to look to if we can go unbeaten, you know, the next two games. Um, 
we give ourselves a chance. You know, it's not, you know, we, it's got all to play for still, you know, but all I'd say today is we've given it everything today and, and if they continue doing that, we're set off for that. You know, where we end up, we end up, you know, because I think if you've got to give everything on the pitch, I think our players have done that. Last season, uh, around the stage, we had three games in five days after our FA Trophy run. Again, we've got that coming up end of the week. Good test of uh, metal and strength, isn't it, with the, for the players? Yeah, yeah, we're getting a few boys back from injury as well, so um, they should be able to help us um, over the next three games. But it's a, it's a tough league. It's a tough league and everyone's got it. Most teams have got uh, three games coming up this week and that, that just shows you that to win, it, there's a lot of factors that come into it. It's not just about how good you are. Uh, like you say, a lot of mental strength, a lot of uh, your fitness as well, your conditioning. So a lot will come into it and whether we can stand that test, we'll, we'll only see.